Yeah. 30 episodes feels about like 60. Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Old Director Jester, with the Niskel. It's time to fight! It's about time we had Anastasia as our opening girl for fighting. Oh, by the way, Dark World! Oh, it's, it's the Dark Realm! Time to eradicate all the demons! Well, Save the park! And, and start fighting back! Even though it doesn't really solve the problem we have of how the demons have the key and the archdemon and all that, but whatever. Gotta say, this looks like every other Dark Realm we have gone into. There are only three locations, it seems. Oh, the and games, a... the Dark World, and Industrial Complex Place. And apparently, we're reusing bosses now. Woo! Alright, so they have no shortage of protagonists to give us, but they've only got two or three antagonists to really speak of. Oh, from the looks of it, we don't really have too many protagonists either. We only have, what, what five? Six? Technically? Well, we've got... Okay, so we've got the five, including Kamiyama, which is six. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Wind Division, which is Komachi and Kaoru, so that makes eight. We got Sumire, that makes nine. We got uh, Izuki, which makes ten. Well, how, so about we got one, how about ones we can play with? All right, then six. There we go. Like, I, I feel kind of bad for the other combat reviews because they have been relegated to, like, background character status. They, they, they have. They really have. That's kind of sad because I, I like the designs of some of them, but they're just, you know, hey, they're, they have joined your combat review. Oh, cool. Can I use them? W we spent, what? We spent, we spent all this time setting up the Shanghai review. They're them talking down to us, and then us making friends with them, and now we barely see them. Like, I think the last we saw of them was a scene where they're like, Huh, wonder what's happening? Probably bad stuff. More fried rice? Yep, and that was it. Yeah, why aren't they in here? They're in the same area as us. They can't see the giant, like, spike that came out of the ground? Because they didn't plan out the story very well. Well, it also doesn't help the Berlin Combat Review is, like, under mind control or some shit, but I have a feeling that'll be dropped by the next chapter. What do you think? I, I have no idea what happened with this story. I mean, it's not like the people who wrote this are incompetent. Once again, Jiro Ishii helped write 428. The 428 Shibuya Scramble is a fantastic story. It's, like, the, the only time you'll ever catch me saying live action works in a video game. There's actually been a couple live-action games that have come out recently. But Got you. Oh, good. No, I was about to say Shibuya Scramble, Erika... But okay, they can't all be winners. Shibuya Scramble came out in like 2008. For the Wii. Oh, did it get ported? Yes. Oh! It only just recently came to the West, thanks to NIS, I think. Okay. But I don't know what happened to the story in this. Like, did they cut corners and just use what they had already? Did they... Did they really have all their ducks in a row, tech their P's and Q's and all that, and this is the best they came up with? I, I really don't know. So, do you ever come up with stories of your own? Like, like when, when your mind wanders a little bit and you start thinking of, like, a story you've always wanted to write or a game you've always wanted to make. All Do you ever have those? the time. Thank you. All the time. Like, I've always had this awesome story about, you know, heroes in, in the background of my mind, and I'm always... I always set all the fight scenes to the song I'm listening to. And there have been some really neat scenarios. You know, I try to vary up the characters, make sure they're not too similar to other characters that exist out in the ether. And uh, uh, somehow they fit into a cohesive narrative, but, uh, you know, I still have to fine tune that. Oh my god. So this is Anastasia's thing she can do. She can, uh... <laughs> 
Use her umbrella to gently float <laughs> down. You don't you don't need her to do this, but <laughs> and oh shit! Get over there! Get over there! No! 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 Ah! You're useless. Well, I mean, she did just come out of a tube, so you know, give her some credit. <laughs> did we heal her? Did we clone her? Oh, this is a new Anastasia, new and improved. So I've had two ideas flowing around my head. The first, like, game I did... Oh, god damn it. This camera angle sucks. First one is a parodical RPG. I think I've talked about it, like, once or twice, but... Just a completely... <laughs> it's, it's basically just a Final Fantasy Super Nintendo game with uh -huh. constant jokes and parodies. Unending, unceasing jokes. Okay. And I always, I always think of good ideas every so often. <laughs> like, oh, that'd be fun to think of. The other one is uh, writing uh, quote-unquote fan fictions where all the characters that me and Violet have created go on Food Network shows. Oh, interesting. Now, see, I've had somewhat of a parody in, in the back of my mind, but the one of which is, uh, uh, you know, a fun cast of characters go through, like, a, a parody game trying to find the mythical level zero. A glitch world that doesn't exist. I got something similar. Like, towards the middle of the game, you go into unfinished town. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Every, everything's like a pen drawing. You know, not everything's <laughs> fixed. At, at one point, you get on the other end of, of the town, and you hit a switch, and a bridge appears, but the bridge also isn't finished. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, maybe the the cancelled part of town. It's like, hey, th this was almost done, but we were told to scrap it by, by our uh, producer. Or like, you know, in Unfinished Town, the boss shows up and it's like, If I hit you just once, it will be an immediate game over, and your save file will be erased. And then he hits you, and then it says, Error in 065 or whatever, and it doesn't happen. <laughs> Damn it! That is still in beta! See, this is what happens when you grow up playing playing a game specifically like Conker's Bad Fur Day, where the ending was literally thrown together at the last minute. You're like, well, how do we end the narrative? Oh, I don't know. Bug the game? Oh, that's perfect! I, I need more humor games. Give me a funny game. They're hard to do, though. Like, they're incredibly difficult to do. Oh, no doubt. Like, we had point-and-click adventure games. That's about where we're going to get most of our humor these days. I will, I will admit, Tales of Berseria hmm. was very funny. It wasn't specifically a humor game, but it was very, very funny. It was a game with humor. Quite quite a bit of humor. Uh, let me think. What was the last, like, truly funny game I played? I don't know, Stein, maybe... Steins Gate can be funny, too, but... Maybe Wattam, just because it was so freaking weird that, <laughs> you know, you didn't know what to make of it? Well, that's that's the kind of humor that you make yourself. Yeah, Not, that's not one point. that was thought up by somebody else. Because if that's, if that's the case, then Goat Simulator is the most hilarious game ever! Hilarity ensues. I mean, I like it, but... Yeah, I can't act... I actually cannot think of a game that has made me, like, like stop and laugh without the it being, like, parable. a glitch or something. Okay. The Stanley Parable had me rolling. That is a hilarious game, and I kind of wish that the stream I did wasn't lost to time. It's been long enough to where I can get the achievement now for not <laughs> playing the Stanley Parable. Probably, probably so, for me, too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's time to go back. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's about time, you know, we... Uh, pick up that achievement. But isn't there an updated version coming out for Switch here soon? It's supposed to be. It got delayed, to, I know yeah, that. Yeah, it got delayed. It was supposed to come around the time Last of Us 2 came out, and then both of those games got delayed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, The Last of Us 2 made me laugh just because it's fucking trash. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. 
No, 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 we need more Last of Us uh, trashing on this channel. Makes, it, makes everybody upset. <laughs> actually, from the, uh, that Dead Rising episode where we were talking about The Last of Us, I actually got... I didn't get pushback for calling two trash. I got pushback from people saying that one was not trash. Or for, uh, for me calling it trash, yeah. Oh, so, so one is trash or not trash? Uh, according to the fans, it is not trash, but still, to me, it is trash. Well, it's not the fact it was trash. I just thought it was boring. It was. I could not, like, I, I got around fall, and it's like, I'm, I'm done. I am falling asleep here. I will give, uh, that was uh, Naughty Dog, right? Yes. Yeah. Naughty Dog has a really fine-tuned talent for making set pieces that are really cool and memorable. There were a few cool moments, but can you get a better writer who has maybe been hugged by his dad at some point? <laughs> uh, Neil Druckmann, or like, more like a Neil Drunk Man, am I right? More like Neil, not a good writer. <laughs> Neil get dunked on. No, the, the set piece where you're hung upside down and you need to save yourself from clickers, that was that's really a, cool. That's exactly what I was thinking of. That, that yeah. was cool. That was awesome. So, it subverted the, the tropes. It was, it, was, it was interesting. It's like, oh, okay. Now, uh, I will say, speaking of Naughty Dog games, I might be, like, a bad gamer or something like that. But uh, Uncharted 2 really pissed me off because it was so samey after a while. And I, I hate to say that about Uncharted 2, a.k.a. the best game of all time when it was the game, released. The game that saved the PS3. Uh-huh. Uh... I don't know, just something about it was very bleh about it, at least to me. Well, it's it's just like in America, we need a good shooter in order to get interested in, in a game. That's what, that's how the 360 succeeded in Japan. They had Tales of Vesperia for it, so. Well, now that I know that New Sakura Wars is on PS4 exclusively, well, that just saved the PS4 for me. Oh, yeah. This is the best exclusive the PS4 has. <laughs> yep. No other game has shown up on PS4 to make me want to buy a PS4. Because everybody knows that Sakura Wars is the best T-rated mech RPG visual novel-esque story-based game mm -hmm. that's produced by Sega. That's right. Oh, no, wait. That honor goes to 13 Sentinels. Hey, just mm. I, I, oh, jumped, uh, I, I jumped into 13 Sentinels pretty good again last night, and, uh, yeah, it's great. And this is my daily reminder to tell people, play 13 Sentinels. Give play VanillaWare love so they don't go away. Play 13 Sentinels, play Steins Gate, play fucking the Tales series. Just, if, if you're gonna play shitty anime games, at least play good ones. <laughs> Actually, uh, you saying play the Tales games makes me realize that it, obviously I've missed out on them because I, myself, I don't play games anymore. I just collect them, which is a disservice to myself, I have noticed. Ah! Because, uh, oh my god, that was a great hit. <laughs> this is a test of patience and I'm failing it. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I started playing my first Yakuza game and it's great. So what, so what if I started with seven? Fight me. It's great. That's also your first Dragon Quest game. <laughs> I played a little bit of Eleven. A little bit. The Hong Kong reference will go way over your head. Yeah, a little bit. I, I noticed that, but I, I'm still having a great time. It really lets me show off the power of the PlayStation 5. In which the only change to Yakuza 7 is it barely has load screen. That's it! Yeah! So, Obra refight. You ready for this long, drawn out battle? It's gonna take the rest of the runtime. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yeah. The oh, rest dear. of the runtime is gonna be fighting against this guy. Oh, dear. We still have a long way to go. Oh, this is a very arduous fight. Uh, now, you're either messing with me and it'll be over in mere seconds, or 
this is actually a long drawn out fight with multiple phases with the spider dude. That gun is ridiculous. The hand yeah, a little they, bit. The handgun they gave a mech. Well, I, I've always thought these mechs look like a little bulky. Like, how do you get around in something that looks like an armchair that just grew legs? Gian Anastasia, it's glad that you're having your I feel better about myself moment after we had your betrayal moment and after your chapter is over. It's great. It's how you write a proper story, and also, isn't she technically still bleeding out? Really tells me that they uh, planned the story as best they could. I'm still going to give a little benefit of the doubt, because I have a feeling all the working uh, developers had all these great ideas, and I think there might have been some intervention. I just feel Sega didn't have much faith in this project. And the combination of old and new people who worked on it just didn't mesh. Man, that's kind of sad. Papa Sega, please let these guys do what they want. I trust Anastasia with my life, even though she's proven to be cold, selfish, distant, and a traitor. Hey! But at least she looks good in a dress. Hey, am I right, fellas? Bang, 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 bang. Finger guns. Oh, hey, uh, it's the sacrifice. Everybody else is here. Oh, yeah, Sakura Vice. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with that? 0.2 seconds. Yes. But aren't you going for a happy ending where everyone's dead? I mean... Hey, hey, hey. The heart-to-hearts come later, pal. Uh, you know, with all this build-up, I have a feeling he's just gonna die in the cutscene. Nah, he's not gonna die in the cutscene. Damn it. I told you, the rest of the time is gonna be dedicated to this boss fight because he's so difficult. Alright, well, we beat him the first time, so what's gonna change in the second time we fight him? Alright, so check it. Okay. Checking Swi it. Switch to Anastasia. Okay. Use her special ability. Uh, what's, what's that? Just circle, and then shoot him in the face. Holy fuck! And then switch to Seijiro. Gone. Yeah. So has she always had that special beam cannon? Yes. And this is the first time we've been able to use it. I think I skipped the cutscene for it, sorry. Well, it's, a, it's okay. I, I have a feeling it would just be her being a loner and then unleash the power of Umbrella laser. Her just kind of whipping around going, oh, power of the thing, go! <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Playing some games, drinking some water, chatting with you over Discord is pretty good. Could be worse things, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, hold on. I, I believe I, uh, I got a comment recently just, uh, you know, asking a simple question on how we work around here. Mm -hmm. Um, is this live? Is what live? Is your gameplay live? Oh. No. No way. <laughs> I love getting that question. I mean, our commentary's I live. I mean... Yeah. Kind of weird if we just overdubbed ourselves. It'd be kind of strange. I don't know if it's just me being the editor for a lot of the projects we do, or, you know, just the fact that I've kind of honed in on how people talk. 
but there is a distinct difference between live commentary and post commentary. Unless you're like really good at acting. Anastasia here would be perfect for both post and live commentary. Guy uh, spaced out, sorry. <clears throat> Do you think Anastasia plays visual novel? Definitely not. What do you think she plays? So if they were to have steampunk games back then, I think that she would be more of a tactical shooter or a racer kind of girl. Okay. Like Sniper Elite 4 and like NASCAR 2021 or something. Gran Turismo. Yes, she would definitely be a Gran Turismo girl. But for some reason, I also see her play, like, the recent Tom Clancy games. Yeah. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah! Stabs her in the gut. Your sacrifice. <laughs> we, got, we got a sword to make, yeah! We gotta do the victory pose, that's right! Yeah. All right, victory pose. Posing Let's do it for victory. Ha All right. So Ooh. Everybody on Anastasia's back. We're all back together, yeah. but the problem is we lost the game, so we've all been disbanded, oh, but it doesn't no. matter anymore because we said it doesn't anymore, so I... <laughs> well, that's how you solve problems, dude. You just have them exit your mind and you never think about them again. Alright, victory pose. Let's get a picture of you actually smiling. It's daylight, you idiot! Do you think her goggles fog up at the worst times? No, I think they go away between transitions. I don't know, that's an okay picture. She looks like she's about to break down and cry, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. No one ever does that, except Sakura, who just yells all the time. Well, she kind of breaks down and cries, like, when the last chip in the bag is gone. No, when Sejira says she has that he has dinner plans, that's when she starts breaking down and crying. <laughs> well, you know, we need hey, to... Hey, Sejira, you want to hang out? No, I'm heading to the theater. <laughs> we need to meet our quota for insulting Sakura, because, you know, you need to break even. Don't worry, Sakura. When you turn into a sword and we're done with you, I'll chip you so no one else will use you. What the fuck? I beg your pardon? <laughs> they should have been more careful! Hi, are you the Moon Division? Correct! Wow! What a bunch of sleazy bitches! Why, Itsuki, the fangirl, and Hiromi, the dessert lady, what? are the fucking Moon Division. What? Excuse me? Like, why? What? <laughs> why, though? <laughs> why did they crash a car into us? I don't know. Why? Do we get wind and moon divisions for all the other combat reviews? Does Shanghai have a moon and combat review? Do we get those characters, too? Hmm. 
That's dumb. I know. No, you you're not allowed to do that, man. I mean, it's a twist, but ha ha! There was a secret division of of agents watching you the whole time. So, do you think she'll not help you because you completely destroyed her in Koi Koi? Well, more important like, things are at stake. Oh. Like a giant shuttlecock! Oh. I mean, if I beat her at Oichikabu, then that'd be different. How did we hide this secret weapon? You know, I think it's great that th th this entire game, we've had, like, no money and nothing works and <laughs> everything's been broken and uh, we we've only had the paltry what? sums from our, from our uh, theater shows to pay for everything and we're so broke and we're in the red and there's no way we can get out of this financial woe and there's nothing we can do to cut back on anything. But hang on, yeah. hang on, we're not done yet. We are not done yet, my friend. It is not complete yet. So we had just a giant battleship in the middle of the park. Oh no! It's more than that, my friend. Way more than that. Uh, okay. Is is it an entire battalion? So I'm gonna I'm gonna again mention how uh, we are completely broke and we have no money and we are always been struggling financially. So uh, we're gonna take the spirit crystal. We're gonna use that. Watch all the spirit energy out of that. What? And we're gonna take this theater out of the ground. What? Take flight, my darling. <laughs> How can we afford this? We got two gigantic airships. The what? theater that that's like got a space shuttle underneath it. What? It fits perfectly onto it. <laughs> but why? Because. No, no, no! I need an actual answer. Because. Why do we have this crap? Because. And why did we need the fucking theater? Because. This is supposed to be the point where we're like excited because we're about to go for the for the big mission. Because if we don't, God, dude, dude, if we don't save the world, then Sakura will die and be used as a sword. We can't have that. You know, when you say it like that, I just kind of visualize where we just like encase her in like metal or something like that and just use like. <laughs> J just imagine her inside like a, a candy wrapper and then using that as a sword. Would have put her in carbonite? Yes! The carbonite Sakura. Kamiyama, what is the weapon you're going to use to defeat the greater demon? Ah, I have brought my Sakura Great Club. Okay, so we're now in the sky. We're in the sky! And the bad guy is still alive somehow. Yeah, we fucked him up pretty good, though. Alright, so... The moon combat review... The, the moon are they with the, us the, now? The moon division, and yes they are! Okay... It, uh, I blanked during that entire, like, battleship segment. Is that theirs? I think the battleship might be theirs. I th I, I, okay. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's theirs. I, which makes it even weirder as to why our theater can fit right into the slot in the back of their airship perfectly. A lot of questions here. My brain hurts. I know, me too.
Oh, and Yaksha turns on Obero because Obero is worthless or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we beat his giant spider twice. He is kind of useless. My pinky! Gah! All right. It's a new day, a new chapter. But we still got some more bromides to get and more cutscenes to do. I'm still stuck on the battleship, dude. Like, we can't leave now. No, we're stuck in the theater, basically. And what a great place to be stuck in, am I right? <laughs> Soccer is already at my door. Hey, Jiro! Hey, Jiro! You want to hang out at the- No! <laughs> I'm stuck in the sky with a idiot. No. Do we have an airlock? All right. First, let's head to the control room. No, I don't want to play koi koi. Is that really you, Yutsuki? I mean... Mmm, I still don't believe that, girl. I only knew who you were the whole time because this is my second playthrough, but of course I did. You're a demon, aren't you? Well, I mean, the fact that you were a fan of this particular theater, even though we suck, that, that was kind of sus. Must be tearing you apart. By the way, you, you don't need to be, like, full of pep, you know? Just keep it cash, you know? Super cash! Mm hmm See, we got you know, the super just... cash music going on now. Yeah, just lay down on a couch, snooze for a couple hours, keep it cash. Lose to me and Koi Koi, you know? Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah, but make sure you do it very cash-like. Like when you lose, you're kind of okay with it. You're like, oh, that sucks. Well, you know, best two out of Darn. three. There's a bromide here on Sumire's chair. Hmm, I wonder if it's about Sumire. Nope, Erica Fontaine! Oh, okay. I just I get a tinge of sadness and hurt and longing and wanting whenever I see these bromides. It's like, like we, we could be doing this! We could be we could be seeing that scene and feeling the emotions! But no! It's a... We gotta, gotta go around, because every scene is always like, I believe in myself. Well, I believe in you too! It's, I'm, I'm glad that you believe in me, because if we all believe in ourselves, we can do anything. We can do it all wrong. Go into Seijiro's room, look behind his bed, there's another bromide. Ichiro Ogami! Oh, cool. You are no hey, uh, Ogami, goddammit! Hey, uh, at this point in the game, how, how are we, uh, how are we actually looking at bromides? Oh, uh, we're looking- Like, number-wise. I know we missed a few, and we're gonna go, uh, pick up the ones that we missed, uh, lying around, because in New Game Plus, there is actually a new icon on your map that shows where the bromides are. Oh, that is so good. So we'll pick those up later. And of course, there's the bromides from the battle machine. And you gotta get all S ranks and all 45 versions of the same seven or eight different stages. Yeah. I can't wait until you go down to the first floor and see all of the people who came in to see a theater show and got stuck in the theater as it flew up into the sky and land on a giant battle cruiser. 
Oh, well, I was sitting down the bathroom a long time, you know, I just ate that you called, and there was some rumbling outside, and what the? <laughs> Accidentally walk outside and fall out of the sky. Oh, well, this is mildly romantic. The problem is the bloom is so high up, I think their noses are gone. Every time I think of you, Kamiyama, I get lightheaded. I love you, Claris. You are my favorite girl. Oh, I love you too, Kamiyama. You give me the warmest fuzzies. Oh. <laughs> I may carry you to bed. Oh, uh, yeah. But... Uh, you know, I thought bed, like, you know, sleep, you know, so, you know, uh, gentle, romantic, but he's like, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take of, of course he would take it as I would take you to bed to have sex with you, of course. Come on, Claris, you're coming with me to the fuck station. Population us, and soon to be more. There's a line in a Run the Jewels song that I love. My business card says, you're in luck. I do two things, I rap and fuck. <laughs> you know, Kamiyama would say that in this current outfit. <laughs> he seems pretty cash about it. Uh, yes, great. Wonderful moment between these two characters. You know, this is the. This isn't. This isn't really the moment before the, the calm before the storm. We haven't really hit the point of no return just yet. We were getting there, but not quite yet. The, po See, the, point, the point of no return will be at the end of this chapter, by the way. See, I love this scene if it were at the point of no return. This is like your last hurrah, like talking to your mates right before you go to a do or die situation. But everybody feels so stiff, it's hard to really connect emotionally to anybody. Well, let's go talk to Sad Sword Girl first. What's up, Sacrificey? Sakura. <laughs> it's okay, Sakura, if you turn into an actual sword, you can go join the cast of Xenoblade Chronicles too. it's great. And so, <laughs> she, she's, feeling, she's feeling upset about her fate. And then you put your hands on her shoulders and you say, Hey, don't worry, Sakura. If we do things right, we'll make sure you're not a virgin sacrifice then. Get Reiji in here! It's okay, he won't fight back because he still has a bullet in his gut. I got your courage right here. Could Goes up and flicks her forehead. Could you share some of your courage? Look at that! I gotta go make lunch. My heart is racing. Uh, hold on, Sakura. I think I'm having heart palpitations. <laughs> Call an ambulance. No, I'm having heart palpitations. Good. Kill the girl. Make it to a powerful sword. Do it. Turn her into a sword. <laughs> I, I just can't win with this stupid girl. Like, I love the childhood Please. friend trope, but Sakura is making me hate the childhood friend trope now. Do you think this is a troll game? I don't know. Like, this is specifically made to make fun of anime fans? I feel like they're making fun of me for thinking this would be a good game. Hey, man, we made a 40-hour troll game. I hope y'all enjoy it, especially the weebs out there. So, uh, yeah, have fun playing new Soccer Wars, and uh, then they flip the bird to the audience. I gotta ask, though, am, am I crazy? Like, it seems yes. like whenever I see anything about this game, nobody gives it the same kind of vitriol or spite that I have. People kind of say, oh, it's okay. It's not that bad. It looked pretty. Like, they're, they're, they're like, you know, kind of average. I, I think it's awful. Uh, am I wrong? Am I just, well, that's, am I just over, being, overreacting here or something? 
I mean, a little bit, yes, but I, I see where you're coming from, because this is a sense of betrayal where other people might be seeing this, because they clearly didn't play Soccer Wars 5, or any of the other ones, and they're just coming into this and it's like, oh, this is what Soccer Wars is. Well, I don't need to play the other ones. That's, that's even worse! Please, just release one or all of the old Soccer Wars games so people know what to expect. So that way you can have a better idea what to do for the next one if you decide to make one! <sighs> I mean, how's hell, you? Sega, you're you're kind of in the in the wheelhouse to do that. You you could actually just take the old games. They aren't that long, I assume. You could translate them real quick. Ship them out onto the Switch and PS4 stores. Big bang boom. I didn't get her password right. You dolt. Don't you know it was Ninja Term number 75? Of course. Also, did that mean anything? Uh, that, I think it was Hirami. Oh, okay. You ready to go die for your country, Azami? You look like you're ready to take uh, the basket of gifties to Grandma. Oh. Seijiro, you look weird. What big teeth you have. All the better to smile at you, my dear. Me. I kind of like this scene because I'm just like, Hey, Zami, see how you're doing? And she's like, mm, Something's wrong with you, isn't there? Just cuts right through your, your protective shields and just gets right to the core of the matter. So, uh, no, no, you're, 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 dead, you're on. dead on. But I like, maybe you're the one who's lying! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Kaj Kamiyama as the no you archetype. So I'm trying to play him as maturely as possible, but sometimes the, the, the game just railroads me into these terrible situations. And he says the dumbest things, too. I thought you were about to say the game just rails me, and then I was like, well, every oh, night just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been raw dogged by a video game before, but you know, sometimes it happens. At least Dark Souls looks at me when it does it. <laughs> I have a feeling Soccer Wars would uh, give you like the one pump chump and then it abandons you, it ghosts you the next day. Dark Souls at least pays me! <laughs> No, you paid it! See, I, I, I kind of like this scene. Even though she's the youngest one, she's still, like, incredibly mature. Even more mature than our idiot Kamiyama here. So she's got, like, pat, she's pat. got, like, wisdom and shit. Even if she's a little naive, even if she's dressed ridiculously, my god! She still has wisdom enough for, you know, Kamiyama to, you know, make a poignant scene. Excuse me, Mr. Art Director, is this enough frills? <laughs> what? Oh, more? Like, more frills. Oh, okay. She um, has two bows, two different shapes, two different colors. It's just, it's just wrong. Why so many frills? You know, I never did consider the possibility of a ninja maid. In which case, that's like two fetishes in one. Maybe you could have uh, a ninja who is in good with the mafia. Could be a maid ninja. Hmm. See, that got, sounds like kind of badass, like made by day, ninja by night. Or maybe it could be a ninja who I play mostly uh, the most in Smash. Could be a maid ninja. Eh, that one was okay. Well, see you, Red. Oh, I think that's about most of the t most of the time we have for today. We still got a few things downstairs to do before we continue the story, as well as a bromide to collect. But let's get one more bromide before we sign off for today. It's over here Please. in the parlor. Please that let it be memorable. <laughs> So or Koi Koi. We can now play uh, Koi Koi with Elise. Elise is pretty tough. 
Yes, fireplace, nice. Ah, uh, the perfect place to sacrifice Sakura. Here we go. And come on. Yo! It's the Christmas show from Sakura Wars 5. Ah, oh, shit, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> That's to remind you of what we're missing. Well, that was really cute. I'm stupid, okay with it. stupid panda. We'll see you next time on New Sakura Wars. Uh, you'll have a good day. Oh, yes. Yeah, right. See ya. See ya.